Hi, beautiful. Today we're watching people color their hair. Cowboy copper, yeehaw. This is right up my alley because being from the south, I know all about cowboys. I was once a cowboy myself, believe it or not. And if you didn't believe any of that, then you'd probably be smart because I made that all up. I am not from the south, <laughs> from the northeast. If you're here and you're wondering what cowboy copper is, it's really just like a lighter copper, kind of more orangey than more of a red. That's basically it. So let's see if people can transform their own hair to cowboy copper all themselves. Probably not. They're probably gonna fail. Let's see. We are starting this New Year's makeover. This is probably a bad before because my hair looks low key amazing. I was just gonna say, your hair looks beautiful. Are we sure we wanna do this? Please. I don't want you to inflict a ton of damage on your hair and make it fall off. Please. I need to make sure your hair looks good. Luckily, doing copper from a dark brown isn't the hardest thing in the entire world, but the easier things that I see people do at home, the harder they make them to be and then they end up just failing completely. Also, she said in her title, Brad Mondo, did I fail? Something tells me you probably did fail if you're asking me if you failed, because if you were confident about the end result, you probably wouldn't have to ask me. We'll see if you can lighten this hair to cowboy copper without ruining your hair and making it fall to the floor and dying. Hair right now is about my waist, and I just cut it. Holy shit. Getting this all colored evenly and properly is going to be a task. Good luck. I actually went to the store and I got color oops. Okay, so she's starting with color oops, which is a color remover. She did say she likes her hair blue black. I'm guessing that she probably has color on her hair because people's hair isn't usually naturally blue black. This is a good first step, I would say. Definitely removing that color in some fashion, whether it be color remover or bleach is totally fine. Color remover is probably a little safer. I'm just gonna actually cut the length right now after I do the color and stuff. I'm gonna have to cut it again. I'm going for like a 90s lip blowout type thing. So I'm thinking I'm gonna need that much. Don't do what I'm doing. Cause this isn't usually what I recommend. Oh my God, already it feels so good. It's feeling so much like classier, cuter, younger, fresher. She <laughs> needed that cut so bad. Her ends were looking straggly and now they're looking full and stunning. Oh, I love it. If you have any sort of permanent hair color in your hair, I would highly recommend starting off with a color remover to avoid any unnecessary damage. I mean, the damage is going to happen. Okay, she is sectioning. She's working from the bottom up. Right now, things are looking pretty good. I'm impressed so far. She's putting a lot of that color remover on. It's gonna be really important that that color remover stays moist and there's plenty of it on the hair or else it's going to dry out and the hair is not going to process properly. And then you're gonna have uneven patchiness all over. But she only just started, so let's see if she can continue to do well. This won't lift your hair a bunch. So if you're naturally dark haired like me, don't expect to bump it up a few levels. All right, it was looking a bit dry when she finished that color remover process. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if she got all of her hair strands. This is the thing with color remover. If you don't apply it evenly, it's not going to come out even. So you have to be super, super generous with the amount of product you put on the hair. Make sure you're saturating every single hair strand. You can comb it through. You can brush it with a detangling brush and do small, small sections at a time. I don't think she did that. I feel like it's gonna be spotty. Okay, in the camera, it doesn't look, and even in the mirror, it doesn't look that light. It doesn't look any different. <laughs> what happened? How did color oops not remove anything out of your hair. That stuff is strong. It should have done a lot more than that. It's already getting really spooky over here. Oh, this is gonna be bad. I went to Sally's as every Brad Mondo reacts video story. Speaking of Sally Beauty, make sure you check out my hair care brand, X Mondo Hair, at Sally Beauty. We have hair care and we have hair color. <laughs> and more stuff coming soon. We got the Wella. I couldn't find Wella developer. So I just went with 30. Take it up to 20 as well. Did this so I could do maybe my roots or start with the lower volume, I don't know. We're going with 30 volume, which is always a good bet for hair this dark. I tell you guys all the time, but 30 volume is my best friend. I'm also a trained professional hairstylist, so take everything I say with a grain of salt. Just because I know how to use 30 volume properly doesn't mean you do too. See, I thought I knew what I was doing, and then I did this first quarter, and I was like, oh shit. I thought I was saturating the hair enough with the bleach, but I would do even more. As Brad Mondo likes to say, you want to see that hair white. You don't even want to see your actual hair color. It's so true. Ah, guys, though, I don't like you guys when you use foils at home. <laughs> if you can't like stand in front of the foil and properly apply and move the hair around side to side with like both hands, you're just never going to get that lightener on properly and you're never going to get it fully saturated. Like right now, I can tell there's going to be a lot of spotting because 
because you are not rubbing the hair back and forth, getting in between everything. Even sometimes I like to apply the lightener onto the foil first and then put the hair on top and then put more lightener on top. So it's like a, f a sandwich of bleach so that every single hair strand is covered. But at home, use our hands and really separate that hair, get that lightener on, separate it again, get it on and let it down. What I was doing here in this first section was I was just laying it on top, thinking that my hair sections were thin enough to have the bleach reach the bottom. I'll tell you something, those are not thin sections. I'm talking paper thin when I'm saying thin, skinny. They were not paper thin enough. When I was washing it out, you see I was getting kind of brown chunks. I started to kind of wise up here in the next quarter. It was also a lot easier because it was in the front of my face and I could see what I was doing. And that's one of the mistakes I did with the previous section. <sighs> I love that she's learning as she goes. This is cool. Also, you don't need to fold every single foil. You can just lay a foil down, put the lightener on, put another foil on top, don't close anything and just keep going until you reach the top of your head and then close them all together. It's way easier and way faster. So try that next time. To a hairstylist and a well-trained eye, this probably looks terrible, but I think it looks great for where I thought it was gonna go. Wait, is she eating or no? I feel like she may be. I can't wait to see where this goes. Oh, is it gonna get bad? It's looking real. Spotty, lots of colors. I knew it was gonna be what it was gonna be because I have black dye. Oh, it's multicolored. Oh, she said it, not me. It's yellow, it's orange, it's all kinds of sh going on. It's a messy situation. Hopefully the toner she does at the very end will help clean all this up, but I really don't know at this point. <laughs> oh no. I came in hot on day two, okay? I was trying to take even thinner slices, fully saturating the hair. I was applying bleach onto the foil and still applying bleach onto the front. I was doing everything possible to have this be successful. Whoa, she's really improved with her foils. Those look professional. She really ate that sh up. Oh my God. Wash this out obviously, and then do a little smudge root. But I'm gonna wait to show that after. I can wait for this side of the head to be very much better than the other side. And it's just like, they're not gonna look the same at all. That's gonna be interesting. Obviously we've got three different shades here. The bright yellow in my roots from the virgin hair, orange in the mids, and a deep dark maroon in the ends. What a toner can do is even out all three of these shades to make it one cohesive hair color with a little bit of a darker root. Are you a hairstylist? There are so many people who go through hair school and still don't understand all this stuff you're saying. So you have a natural talent, girl. Look at her coming in hot with this formula. She got a f***ing roots, mids, and ends formula going on. Now moving on to the bangs, I started off cutting them really long and then connecting them with my face framing layers. I can't quite see her hair yet because it's like pretty dark in here and she's gonna finish up her haircut. I guess we're gonna see the finished results after that. But that formula, I don't really feel like dissecting it right now because I couldn't really see what her start level was in the first place. I didn't see her hair dry. I don't know. A root, mids, and ends formula is pretty intense. Usually I just stick to like roots and ends, but sometimes with color corrections, you need all those different formulas to make an even color. So hopefully she picked the correct formulas and her hair is even now because it was looking pretty spooky with the yellow roots and the copper. It was looking crazy. She proceeds to absolutely kill it with this haircut moment and then she styles it. This is the finished result. I feel like if Brad Mondo is watching this, he's gonna be like, how did we get from here to here? I've been living with it for, I think a couple weeks now. I'm obsessed. I, you guys love it. I love it. Ignore my hair. It's a little oily right now. <laughs> Sorry, that was the funniest thing. Sorry, I'll give my opinion in a second, but she goes, ignore my hair. It's literally a video about your fucking hair. She said that too. That's so funny. Ignore my hair. What am I supposed to look at? There's definitely issues with the hair. Like I do have banding, but I didn't want to process my hair multiple times in one day and because it is such a dark hair color i don't mind just covering it up with some toner but for now i'm happy with it it is definitely not that noticeable but i'm obsessed wow <laughs> wow oh my god that was insane her hair looks so good oh my god your hair looks incredible you did an incredible job the tone is like flawless it's not too red it's not too orange. It still has that natural brown background to it. You didn't over lighten your hair. Well, your roots were over lightened, but you didn't over lighten the rest of your hair. Is it the most even thing in the entire world? No, but it's even enough. You just absolutely killed it. Oh my God. And the styling with the bows and your 
makeup and your skin tone with the hair color, it's just all perfect. Wow. Hello guys. I'm gonna make a big decision today. If this is your first time here, my name's Zyra. Another person with absolutely beautiful, dark, luxurious, long starting hair. We are going to amp it up with some cowboy copper, baby. Oh, let's see if we can do it. Also, if you thought this length was real, I catfished you. I'm gonna take my extensions out right now and you'll see. Okay, they are extensions. She has extensions and I lied. <laughs> she does have beautiful hair. It's just not her, it's not her actual hair. I was bamboozled. Right before I stopped bleaching my hair, I had switched over to the Ioni brand and I remember liking it. Got my hair dye off of Amazon. I'm gonna be using the Igora line from Schwartz Enough. I don't think I'm saying that right. Schwartz cough. So I have 677757 and 600. Everyone pretty much used this for going like the copper red route. Okay, level six and seven. I don't know exactly what those look like in that specific color line, but a six and seven is typically light brown. So that's gonna be a really nice copper color, but it's gonna be a very light copper color. So we have to make sure her hair gets light enough in order to apply those colors over top because color doesn't lift color. So she has to use bleach first in order to get her hair pre-light and then deposit the tone on top. Gotta remember how I used to do this. Why am I getting nervous now? I have a feeling that this is going to look absolutely divine on her. Ooh, I'm so so excited. This is going to eat the house down slay boots. So I'm gonna go with the powder. Ooh. See if I remember the measurements just off the top of my head. I'm sorry, you can't really like see what I'm doing, but I'm just dumping the 30 volume developer. Ugh. Something about people at home just mixing with their eyeballs some bleach and developer. I don't like it. Use a measuring scooper thing because it actually does matter, believe it or not. Just getting the right mixing ratio actually does affect the way that the lightener works on your hair, so just do it right. Since I'm just gonna do like the mids to ends, I'm just going to not even use a mirror. I'm just gonna feel it out. I love that she's working from the bottom up. I love it, I love it, I, I, I love it. I just kinda wanna lighten it up a little bit, not like, I don't expect like a platinum blonde out of this right now. We definitely don't want a platinum blonde. That is the thing that we really, really don't wanna do today. We don't wanna lighten it past that orange stage because we're only trying to get to the orange stage. So if we have an orange base underneath of that toner, it's going to help that toner stick, have the proper tone, be even more vibrant, and last longer. Whereas if you over lighten the hair to a pale blonde, that toner is not going to look right. You're going to have to add even more of that warmth back to the hair to get it to look like copper, plus some of those natural tones. Also, it's going to fall off the hair quickly, and your hair is going to be left blonde after just a few washes. So don't over lighten your hair if you're just trying to go copper. So that is one section done. That was really fast, really easy. I'm gonna skip through the rest because you pretty much get what's going on, just avoiding the roots. All right, she's left a lot of root out, which concerns me because we only want about an inch from the scalp left out or else we are still going to get banding because the heat only hits about the first inch of the hair. A good idea for you right now would be to put a bag over your hair to ensure that your ends also get some of that heat from your scalp. That way things kind of get a little bit more even than they would have without it. I let it sit for a little bit longer. It's been 42 minutes exactly. And this is what lifting is looking like. Really nice. I'm gonna go wash it off. Okay, I'm back. This color is like already so cute like this. Okay, now I'm bringing out the Agora hair dyes. I don't know what's going on here because we lifted the hair. I don't know if the Agora hair color is permanent. I'm guessing it is. I might be confused. So she lightened her hair. It's not very light or it just looks dark in wherever she is. But um, she left her roots out. So she's trying to think more of a root shadow, I'm guessing. But also I think she's gonna go over everything with this permanent color, which is gonna lay in her roots. Probably gonna give her hot roots. Oh, this is scary a little bit. It's gonna get really spooky all of a sudden, I can tell. Orange is the 677, the white is the 757, and then this is a little bit of the 600. I'm gonna use 20 developer, just do equal parts. And this is gonna be for my roots. This is what the consistency is looking like. Oh, I hope you guys don't mind. Brittany wanted to come and watch with me. She was standing over there and she was well, she wasn't standing. We know she can't stand, but she was watching on her shoulders and I told her she could come join. I've been trying to treat my mannequins with more respect lately and they've been respecting me a lot. Look at, she's even smiling, kind of scary. <laughs> Are you alive? <laughs> 
All right, we are applying a root color. I love to see it. Uh, what do you think about that, Miss Maniquin? She's doing a good job so far. Like, she's putting that root color on. She's getting a little probably root shadow moment going on. I think she did like a level six on her roots. I can't remember now because I have short-term memory loss issues. But that is great. Is this gonna look really good or really bad? Pretty good with the coloring job of the root. I would say use the back of the coloring brush next time instead of your hands to part the hair. It would be a lot better and a lot easier and a lot cleaner and your sections will look a lot nicer and your color results will be even more beautiful. Roots are on and now for the rest of my hair, just doing 677 seven, and 757 seven with three developers. This is always a great idea to do a darker color on your root because hair naturally at the root is darker. As it gets affected by sunlight, your hair naturally lightens. So everybody's gonna have a lighter hair color at the end and a darker color at the root. So if you ever wanna make your hair look really natural and really beautiful, just do that. Bro, I'm not gonna be using the six zero zero this time. That was just kind of for the roots in case they turned out like super red. So again, equal parts. Why are you staring at me? You're very scary sometimes, you know that. You make me a little nervous. In the cold, it's just my bad Sorry, you guys. I can't do this with her staring at me. You're gonna, I, you have to go. What? Tell him you say hi and you love me. Yes. Brittany says hi and she loves you guys and she's really happy to be here and she doesn't want me to put her back away, but I'm going to have to. Oh, yes, you can come back next time. They will still be here and so will you. It's okay. Thank you though for saying hi. Hi, you guys. Okay. <laughs> Go back to your friends in the closet. You killed them all. Okay, well, we're gonna have to sort that out later. That's not good. We don't kill people. I raised you better than that. Okay, don't hurt your friends. Okay, all right. Oh, this is getting weird. Okay, that's scary. Why is she hurting people? The other day I woke up and she had a knife at like 1 a.m. Oh, hello, Brittany. <laughs> Be careful with that. For my roots and for the rest of my hair, I made the perfect amount both times. That is like so satisfying to me. Set a timer for 25 minutes. So I ended up adding an extra 15 minutes and it's definitely developed a bit darker now. So now we're gonna see how this rinses out. It's the next morning and I got ready and I did my hair so I could show you like the actual fun result. I'm obsessed. I was a little bit scared, but I really like it now okay hopefully you can see everything you guys what do we think are we as obsessed as we thought we were gonna be this could have gone very bad thankfully it turned out very good oh my god i mean the color looks very nice uh, to an untrained eye i would say it looks nearly perfect to a trained eye i think we still have some of that like darker tones going throughout it's not super even plus the ends are a little bit darker than the roots which just bothers me a little bit also i don't know i I think you look great in both colors, but the black just did something for your skin tone. Like, it really was like, wow. I also feel like this color just needs to be a little bit lighter. It's still in the more, like, reddish family instead of the cowboy copper family. So I would have liked to see it a little bit lighter. But you all around look beautiful. And if you love it, then I love it. So I am happy for you. And um, that was scary. But you ended up really knowing what you were doing at the end. So I don't know. Are you trying to play me? What was going on there? What happened? Hey, guys. What's up? It's Nadia here back with another video. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this starting color? We got some yellow with some orange. It's over lightened for Cowboy Copper for sure, but she's got something going on. I don't know. She's probably gonna explain it, so I should probably listen for a second. Let's listen. I basically had all blonde hair on the ends, and then where you see like the orange, I had like a permanent brown hair color. I've never done it before, and I'm a licensed cosmetologist, so it shouldn't be that hard to go ahead and bleach my roots. I'll tell you, it is hard at doing your own hair in any capacity, but it always gets easier, even as a hairstylist. Like doing somebody else's hair is just a whole different ball game. I think you try to do it yourself and it's just like something happens where it's just like whoa where am i you get like vertigo like you're all of a sudden just like spinning you're like what i've never done hair before like what and then you discover that you can buy a three-way mirror that lights up on amazon and hang it on your door and it changes your life which is what i do now but bleaching your hair is always tricky because if you don't get every single piece without overlapping then you will have spots and you will have banding and it will not look good i missed some spots um that's how it feels like. Girl, you missed a ton of shit. 
back there and it's not even which means your end result is not going to be even it's really important that once you're done with the lightning portion of things that your hair is very even in tone because whatever you put over that is going to kind of mimic the base that it goes on if your base is not even your end result will not be even we're going cowboy copper i am mixing the 6bc and the 8cg from matrix these are their alkaline toners so they're not permanent hair colors they're literally just demi-permanent super gentle hair color okay so she's going like a level seven copper all right pretty light pretty gorgeous can't wait to see it i'm gonna do two parts of the 6bc and then one part of the 8cg i would do a, quite a different formula on her roots rather than the ends her roots already have those orangey undertones therefore we don't have to put as much back in as we do on the ends i would probably just do straight up six on the root and then do seven on the ends or seven eight on the ends so that the entire look has a variation of tones going through i think it just adds dimension it makes the hair look thicker and fuller as well if the roots are darker because it adds depth back to the hair also because her roots are more orange let's put less orange in the formula up there that should help it make it look even i'm gonna get my 6bc hair color out i'm gonna start small because i'm gonna do my roots first two thirds of this two and then we need 0.6 of the 8CG, 1.8 of 10 volume developer. So she said she was using dye permanent color. However, she's using a 10 volume, which does lift and deposit. So we don't really need that, but it's fine. Sometimes there's things in color that don't really make sense unless you really know how color works. And this is one of those things. I feel like 10 volume will be just fine. I love the fact she's weighing everything out and making sure everything is precise and accurate. Oh. Good job. As she works around the head, I think she's applying it quite evenly and quite nicely. I think that this is gonna probably look nice unless she didn't choose the exact right formula for her. I'm not familiar with this hair color line. It feels like it's teetering on it's too light of a color to really affect her hair a lot, but I think it could be cute. I don't know, let's see. I think my roots are all done. I'm gonna do my ends now. Okay, do you see the way she grabbed this section and really put her hands in it and got every strand of hair? That's what we want to see. Get those sections evenly saturated, please. And she's combing and brushing it through, yes! I'm going to cross check, make sure that I got everything because I still have a ton of dye left, like genuinely like half a bowl. She's gonna cross check too, she's gonna cross check, she's gonna cross check too. Mm, mm, mm. If you go horizontal, then you go vertical after, and you look and you separate the hair that way. And if you go vertical first, and then you go horizontal second. So you're crossing. It's like, you know what a cross is, come on. This is how my hair turned out, and looking at it in the camera, it's actually kind of beautiful. The only thing is that I was wishing it to be a little darker and a little bit richer. It doesn't look bad, but I do agree with her. It's looking a bit hollow, and sometimes that happens with dying permanent color over blonde hair, and that's why I say to keep your hair at the orange stage and not over lighten it before you put the dye permanent cowboy copper color over it. This is kind of what happens. It looks a little bit hollow. You sometimes need to apply the color multiple times to get it to really stick and look vibrant, or you can fill the hair with a copper color before you then put copper over it, which is kind of the same thing as I said before, but in a little different way. So she's probably gonna need to do this again to make it look really vibrant. I don't know if it's quite there yet for me. I bought the Paul Mitchell Crema XG Demi Permanent, and it's the 6RB. And this this is going to be our final color. Okay, so she basically filled her hair and now she's going with an even darker color, which I think is a great idea. She is reapplying this new color over top of everything. I think this is going to look so much better and so much more rich. Oh, I'm so excited to see this result. Oh. This is the final result of my hair. I love it. To me, it just looks so much more even, so much more rich. My hair looks so shiny. Obviously, I did have a bit of damage happen to my hair, which is fine, but now starts the healing process. I I am going to be bringing it back to life and its good health. I think you look beautiful. I don't know if, though if it's the lighting or like where you are in your house because the walls are kind of like white slash gray. I feel like it's kind of dulling out your hair color a little bit. I feel like it's probably more vibrant in like sunlight, but I would like it to be more vibrant, have more of those orange tones shining through. I do think it looks great and I'm so happy you went with a darker color. The color before was definitely too dull. And now we got to a much, much better spot. <laughs> so many copper beauties today. So many beautiful copper colors we saw today. I am impressed. I think all of you guys did a great job ultimately and uh, you really knew your shit. For some reason, people who want to go red know what they're doing. I don't know. That was 
kind of shocking how much you knew. If you wanna check out my hair color line and shop some of my reds, you can do so at Sally Beauty or on my website at xmonohair.com. It is linked below for you. And you can shop all of my hair care, including our Super Gloss Ultra Frizz Defense Spray. that will make your hair smoother and shinier and glossier than ever before and frizz free as fuck. That's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.